Hey guys, how's it going? BCHD here and welcome back to another FIFA 19 career mode video on the channel today. We've got yet another future of career mode experiment versus video on the channel. And today's team are going to be the future of Borussia Dortmund coming up against the future of Bayern Munich. And of course, we've done a few more of these on the channel. We did the future of Inter Milan taking on the future of AC Milan. We did the future of Chelsea taking on the future of Arsenal. We did the future of Manchester United taking on the future of Liverpool. And now, after two consecutive episodes in England, we are off to Germany and we are going to be exploring one of the biggest derbies in German football. It's going to be Der Klassiker, Borussia Dortmund taking on Bayern Munich. It's going to be the future of Borussia Dortmund taking on the future of Bayern Munich. We're combining all of the most exciting prospects, the most exciting Wonder Kids and Youth Academy talents in both sides, putting them into a starting 11, making them face off 1v1 in a computer versus computer simulator game and then we're going to see how they do in a full season in FIFA 19 career mode. You guys know how it works by now, I don't need to explain it, but first, before we get into the CPU battle, we're going to be going into each one of the teams. We're going to be starting off with Borussia Dortmund. And guys, if you enjoy this video, make sure to slap a like on the video, subscribe for some more FIFA 19 career mode content on the channel, follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description, and let's get straight into the video. And here we have it, the future of Borussia Dortmund. We're going to start up top. They're in a 4-2-3-1 formation, depending on how you look at it, but their starting striker is the Spaniard, Paco Alcacer. The Spaniard came from Valencia. They moved to Barcelona. Didn't really get much game time there and now has found himself at Borussia Dortmund playing really, really well. And he's only 25 years of age, I believe. Yeah, 25 for the Spaniard. He's going to be starting up top, 82 rated. He's absolutely killing it in the Bundesliga this season as well as last season. We move on to the right winger spot. There only could be one man. It's the Englishman, Jaden Sancho, ex-Manchester City Youth Academy graduate. He moved to uh, the Bundesliga to get a bit more game time. Borussia Dortmund took the chance on him. He's been absolutely tearing it up in the Bundesliga as well as the Champions League. He's gotten into the starting 11 for Dortmund and he's still only 18 years of age. Five-star skills, recently got a face scan in FIFA 19 as well. He's got crazy potential on career mode in the 90s for him. So yeah, Jaden Sancho, one of the most hyped up wonder kids at the moment in world football and in FIFA 19 career mode. We're going to see what he does in today's episode but yeah Sancho one of the highlights for Borussia Dortmund we move on to the center attack and midfield spot it is a cam it is Gomez Sergio Gomez the Spaniard another Spaniard just like Paco Alcacer is 68 rated however has got really decent potential in career mode 85 so yeah very very decent one to kid 86 potential on him and he's going to be starting off at that camp position he's only 18 years of age as well so a lot of youth in this Borussia Dortmund attacking line. We'll see what he can do as well. The midfielder hasn't really gotten that much game time at Dortmund, however, should be in the future of their squad, as well as Larsen. The man from Denmark is 20 years of age, I believe, and is one of Denmark's young, bright talents, and he is going to start on this left-hand side for Borussia Dortmund, 74 rated, 20 years of age. He is going to be the left-sided winger in this team. We move on to Julian Weigl, the captain of this team. The central defensive midfielder in their little mid midfield partnership with Dahoud. They are two solid midfielders, central defensive midfielders to have in this team. And that is some great partnership. Obviously, Weigl, still 23 years of age. He can play centre-back as well as the German Dahoud, 23. Came from Borussia Mönchengladbach. So yeah, that is a very, very decent, youthful central defensive midfield. As we move on to the defence, and we have Hakimi, the man from Real Madrid, I believe. Came on loan from Real Madrid. He's now at Borussia Dortmund, and he is still 20 years of age. The Moroccan can play at right back, can play at left back, and has slotted himself into the starting 11 of this Borussia Dortmund team. And the thing is, with a lot of these young wonder kids, they're already in the starting 11, like uh, Alcaysa, Sancho, Hakimi, and as we go through the back line, they're going to be in the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund in real life as well. So 
Uh, this is a lot of players that are playing for Dortmund right now are their future as we move on to Akanji. The man from Switzerland, it's Akanji, 23 years of age, 81 rated centre back, a very, very solid player and of course has got a lot of room to grow in that Dortmund team and in this future of Dortmund as we move on to Zagadou, the Frenchman, another young French centre back, 76 rated, can play left back as well, is 21 years of age, no, he's 19 years of age the Frenchman at the back, Zagadou also getting a bit of game time as well as Diallo Dortmund's summer purchase in this side. He can, he's going to slot in there at left back. He can play centre back as well, but Zagadou is going to be in that spot. 22 years of age for Diallo. Yet another Frenchman in this team. We move on to the bench. We've got some interesting picks here. We've got, of course, it is going to be Goetze, Mario Goetze, the man who scored that winning goal at the World Cup for Germany. Initially played for Borussia Dortmund, jump ship to Bayern Munich, their enemies, and then he returned home back to Borussia Dortmund. He's now at a centre forward, he can play Cam still, but we're going to put Gomez in there, and he's still, he's 26 years of age, so yeah, he's not going to get into the starting 11, getting a bit of on the old side, uh, Goethe, to be a wonder kid, but we move on to Philip, the 78 rated striker. The German is 25 years of age and yeah, of course, he's a very, very exciting young player for Borussia Dortmund. We move on and this is going to be a controversial player, Christian Pulisic. I know a few of you guys have seen him on the bench already. The American is on his way to Chelsea, but he's still part of this Borussia Dortmund team, so he can qualify for the future of Borussia Dortmund. However, he is on his way to Chelsea. But that is what is preventing him from being in this starting 11. So Christian Pulisic is going to be on the bench for this one because kind of on his way to Chelsea. So he's not really in the future of Dortmund, but yeah, he's going to slot on the bench. Now we move on to a recently added Argentinian centre-back who's 64 rated, 20 years of age. It's Balerdi, recently moved to Dortmund as well, I believe, in January. So yeah, a young up-and-coming centre-back for Dortmund. We move on to the bench. We start off with Wolf at right midfielder, the German... 23 years of age, very, very versatile there. You can see right mid, center mid, left mid, right back, and then Wanner, Kerr, Baki is going to make his way into the reserves. Another recently added FIFA 19 career mode wonder kid is Bafunta, the French central midfielder, has got potentials in the 80s, so a man can go very, very quick. Recently moved to Dortmund as well, and he's still only 17 years of age. We put Guerrero in there. I didn't realize how young he actually was. He's still 25, however, well, but that is going to be the future of Borussia Dortmund. They're going to be coming up against the future of Bayern Munich. Let's take a look at their team. So the future of Bayern Munich is going to look a bit like this. Starting up top is Serge Gnabry. The man came from Arsenal. The German is back in the Bundesliga, killing it. He did it with Hoffenheim and now he's earned his way into Bayern Munich. Still only 23 years of age. He's going to act as the center forward type player in this team because really for Dortmund, uh, really for Bayern, sorry, there's not really much of a striker future. I mean, looking through a lot of their wonder kids, not many strikers coming through the ranks at Bayern Munich. So Nabry is going to be our little makeshift striker slash center forward in there as well. 83 rated. We move on to the Canadian that recently moved to Bayern Munich in January from MLS from the Vancouver Whitecaps, I believe. It is Alfonso Davies, the career mode god in FIFA 19. He is a must buy in career mode and a very, very popular amongst the FIFA 19 career mode users and he's going to slot into this team. Still only not 18 years of age, Alfonso Davies, 72 rated. He surely has a big future ahead of him at Bayern Munich and yeah, he's going to be replacing either Robin or Ribéry on the right or left hand side depending on what side he's going to play on. But yeah, Alfonso Davies, one of the big, big wonder kids in FIFA 19 and in Bayern Munich. We move on to a man from Schalke. It's Goretzka in that center attack and midfield spot. Of course, he is already in the buy-in starting 11, but still, he's 24 years of age, so he's still got a lot of years left in him. Goretzka recently moved from Schalke as well, so he has got a big future ahead of him, as well as Kingsley Coman, if he stops picking up injuries and, you know, hinting at an early retirement. Yeah, Kingsley Coman, the Frenchman, uh, he's done it. He's been to PSG, Juventus, now Bayern Munich. He's a man for big clubs, Kingsley Coman. Still 22 years of age. He's going to start on the left-hand side. Whilst the midfield partnership is quite interesting, it's World Cup winner, Clorentine Tolisso, the Frenchman, 83 rated, 24 years of age. And it's going to be Renato Sanchez, the Portuguese man that won it 
four. Portugal at 16 euros came in clutch at the central midfield position. Korea sort of gone downhill from there, but he is going to still make it into the central midfield position. 75 rated, still 21 years of age, so he still has time to resurrect his career and fulfill his potential as we move on to the back four. And this is where I believe it's strongest. We've got this little right hand side of Kimmich and Sula who are kind of already in the buy-in starting 11 but considering they're only 24 and 23 Sula and Kimmich are just absolute gods in the back four obviously Sula a long time career mode one key to career mode gem the German center back 84 rate as well as Kimmich 86 rate as we move on to the left hand side it's a bit weaker however Got a lot of room to grow, of course. They are still wonder kids. It's Mai, the center back, a career mode favorite for a lot of people this year. The German is 18 years of age, he's got a 85 potential on him. And Mai is yet another strong German center back as we move on to Friedel. He can play at left back, he's gonna slot in at left back there. 67 rated, 20 years of age for that man. And yet another man, the heir to the throne. For Manuel Neuer, it's going to be Fructal, a popular career mode pickup this year. has got in the mid-80s potential for this man as well. So strong young German keeper in there as we move on to the bench. It's going to be Hoffman as the backup keeper for Bayern Munich. Awuja, the centre-back, is 61 rated, still 21 years of age. Fien, the 67 rated central midfielder, 19 years of age. The German currently out on loan as well as Avina, the left midfielder. Shabani is going to make it in there in the central attack and midfield spot, 62 rated. Another popular German one to kid this year is Batista Meyer. He's got mid-80s potential as well, so a very, very good grower and career mode. And surely he'll be a, a bright star for Bayern in the future. Jing Wung Young, I don't know if I've butchered that name, but the Korean, the Korean is 19 years of age, finds himself at Bayern Munich, and yet again is another winger, 61 rated. We have another Meyer, however, it's not Batista Meyer, it's just Meyer at left back. Will at central midfielder with the 61 overall, and Tillman is going to finish this team off, but that is the future of Bayern Munich. They're going to be facing the future of Borussia Dortmund. Who's going to win, guys? Let me know in the comments down below or vote up in the poll. My bet might be on Bayern for the game, but maybe for the career mode season, Borussia Dortmund. However, we are going to see what happens in the next few minutes as we're going to have the computer versus computer clash between these two giants. Both Wonder Kids squads, both future teams are going to be up against each other. It's going to be a very intriguing clash. Let's see what happens. So we've arrived at the Berlin Stadium. It is the Olympia Stadion going to be hosting this big clash between the future of Dortmund and the future of Bayern Munich. It's going to be the DFB Pokal, the German Cup. They're going to be fighting for today. A big, big clash in German football. And it's kind of like the FA Cup of German football. It is the German Cup. And yeah, the two youngster squads are going to be fighting it out for this battle, for that trophy. And of course, it puts a bit of silverware on the line. It puts a bit more than it's just a normal friendly. They've got a bit to fight for in this game. So it should be an interesting contest, an intriguing contest between the pair and a big uh, rivalry, of course, in there as well. But we start off this first half with... A bit of first minute action here from Borussia Dortmund. Sergi Gomez getting off to a good start. But Paco Akase gets a warning shot away onto Fructal. Getting them off to a positive start in the opening minutes. Nothing much really happening in the first half. But Sergi Gomez puts a ball through to Paco Akase. His fellow Spanish compatriot. And it's a goal made in Spain for the future of Borussia Dortmund. Paco Akase, the man that's been on fire this season for Borussia Dortmund. Has slammed one home against their bitter rivals. Borussia Dortmund Fructal couldn't keep that out. The defense couldn't keep up with the pace of Paco Alcacer. And it was a clinical finish in the end to get the future of Borussia Dortmund. 1-0 up here. The clinical number 9 for Dortmund that they have been lacking for a few years now. And he's come in the form of Paco Alcacer. After Aubameyang couldn't really find the replacement. But now Alcacer has gotten himself a goal here as Jaden Sancho comes off for Marius Wolf, a right-hand sided player. And he's going to start off this game by running down this right-hand side in the second half. It's the 50th minute. Marius Wolf, no one's stopping this bloke. He crosses the ball in. And there is the American Christian Pulisic. Comes off the bench, makes an impact. The American, surely Borussia Dortmund, are going to be missing this guy in the future as he is off to Chelsea for next season so I don't know if that's a good or bad transfer for Borussia Dortmund but they surely are going to miss the young talented American as he slots a header in to the bottom left hand corner Marius Wolf with a great run down that right hand side 
a great super sub, an impact sub, Marius Wolf. And he has found Pulisic at the back post, fools the Bayern defense, and Fructal could have done a bit better there. Came at him a bit quickly, but yeah, what a finish from the American. Fructal couldn't keep it out. He's having a terrible game at the moment, and Dortmund lead 2-0 in this cup final. Can Bayern hit back? We're going to find out in the next few minutes. Goretzka running down this left-hand stride, trying to cause the defense some kind of trouble here for Borussia Dortmund as they continue. They've crossed it in. Nabry chests it on to Koeman. and he finds Clorenton Tolisso in the middle of the box and he finished that, finishes that chance off no problems with that. The Frenchman halves the deficit for Borussia Dortmund in De Classica and has gotten Bayern back into this game and the Bavarians are loving that goal. Clorenton Tolisso, right place, right time for the man. It's not really a striker, it's more of a central midfielder but he has slotted that one into the top right hand corner calmly, collectively, just Followed through with a beautiful finish and Paco Alcacer, the goal scorer, is going to come off for Mario Goethe. Yet again, another super sub for Dortmund and Germany in the past as Julian Weigl finds Mario Goethe, gives it to Gomez. Goethe puts it out into Pulisic. Pulisic finds Wolf and they've done a little one-two here. And what a goal that is to finish off this game, to win the DFB Pokal for the future of Borussia Dortmund. And it's that man, the American Christian Pulisic. He doesn't know what to do himself with himself. He's so excited. The American absolutely loving a brace in the DFB Pokal in the final. The linesman's even joining in in the celebrations there as well. What a moment for the American. And look at this. He does a one-two. There's three Borussia Dortmund, um, three Bayern Munich players in between that play and they've somehow pulled off a one-two. Pulisic and Wolf absolutely loving that connection this game. And the second goal was Wolf crossing it into Pulisic. This one was a 1-2 in the box between so many Bayern Munich defenders. And it somehow come off. And that, that has solidified the win for Borussia Dortmund. Bayern not really doing much in the attack. And they are going to suffer defeat here. 3-1 defeat. Borussia Dortmund. The future looking quite bright for, for Borussia Dortmund. And they are going to take the victory here. They're going to take the trophy home. They're going to take they're going to lift up the DFB poke out. I'm going to leave you guys with the trophy celebrations. After that, we're headed straight into FIFA 19 career mode to see how these two do in a full season. It's going to be Julian Weigl, the captain, the central midfield general, uh, the German as well is going to be lifting up that golden trophy. Enjoy the celebrations. We're going to be right back. Through the wastelands, through the highways, to my shadow, to the sun rays, and on and on we'll go. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go. enough celebrating for the future of Borussia Dortmund. Can they cut it out in a season of FIFA 19 career mode? We're going to have a look and see. We have, of course, our Schalke, their bitter rivals in this career mode save, just so we don't interfere in any of Borussia Dortmund or Bayern Munich's transfer goings this season and so we don't affect any of the decisions made by them or either side. The future of Borussia Dortmund finishing in seventh. Bayern nowhere near the top 10. We're going to have a look to see where they finished and they finished in the relegation match playoff 16th. So that means in Germany, third last team faces off against the third positioned team in the second division of German football. They're going to be playing a playoff match to see who stays in the Bundesliga or if they stay in the Bundesliga or if they're going to get relegated. Of course, Goethe in there with 15 goals for Borussia Dortmund as well as Philipp in there as well. So pretty decent from the Borussia Dortmund boys. Bayern not really doing too well. And in the relegation match, they faced off against Ingolstadt. They ended up winning 4-0 on aggregate. So in the two legs, they both won them 2-0. So Bayern Munich not getting relegated. The future is still bright for them. They ended up notching out a 4-0 win against the uh, Bundesliga 2 side Ingolstadt. That is going to be it 
for the video guys Bayern Munich the future of Bayern Munich not looking too bright in FIFA 19 career mode however they still have a lot of promising players in the end guys if you did go ahead and enjoy this video please leave it a like let me know down in the comments below what of teams I should do next what future of squads I should create next follow me on Twitter the link is in the description of course hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss a video hit the notification bell all that good stuff thank you guys so much for watching i've been bchd and i'll catch you guys in the very next